tutorial from PolicyViz. I'm your host, John Schwabish, and on today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the value from cells option when labeling your points, bars, or lines in your Excel charts. The value from cells option was added in Excel 2016 or Office 365, first for the PCs and later for the Macs, and it makes life a lot easier when you're trying to create a graph like this. This is a bubble plot created by Lisa Charlotte Roast over at Data Wrapper. It shows the relationship between the 2021 Big Mac price index and the minimum wage for a number of different countries around the world. And the challenge for Excel users is trying to get those labels on those different points or bubbles where we want them, especially in a scatter plot. So I'm gonna show you how to use this really great option in Excel for adding those labels. So what I'm going to do, um, Lisa provided the data uh, with her data wrapper chart, which is terrific. I'm going to insert, I'm just gonna create a scatter plot here instead of a bubble chart. And I'll bring this up and I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is just select my points in the scatter plot, and just like you would usually, I'm going to add the data labels. And you can see here that by default, Excel adds my y axis values to my data labels. And so I'm going to format those data labels just to demonstrate. And over here, you can see what the options are. Just by default, it adds the, adds the Y value, but you could also have the X value and or the series name. And you can see that you can turn these on or off. But right up here at the top is the value from cells option. And this is a great option if you want to add, for example, country names in your scatter plot. So I'm going to select that option there. And now you can see that it always just prompts me for those data labels. And I have my country names right here. I'm going to drag that down and I'm going to hit OK. And now I've got my country names on my plot. Now, of course, I can move these around. I could center them. I could put them above. I could put them below. Now, of course, I might need to go in and maybe I want to move some of these around. You can see that these two labels right here are on top of each other. Um, I could select those and I could just move that around. But let's say I wanted to have just some of the labels on this particular chart, just the way Lisa had in hers. Well, another option I could do is to use an if statement to just make some selected labels. So I'm just going to say labels. And here I'm going to say if this equals Europe. I'm just going to include the Europe labels here, countries in Europe. If I'm going to do that, give me Australia. And if not, just give me a blank cell. So you can see I just, it's a very simple if statement here. I'm going to hit return. You see I get nothing there because that's a null. If I drag this down, I get the uh, European countries here. And so what I can do is go back, click my data labels. I can change the range. I can select these and hit OK. And you can see that I have now just some of the countries. Similarly, I could change this to the population. Maybe I just want the largest country. So if the population is greater than, let's say, 50 million, give me the country name. If not, give me a blank cell. Hit return. Now I'm going to drag all the way down. And you can see that I now have just some of those labels. So the value from labels option in the format data labels menu is very valuable because you can customize how you add your labels to your scatter plot, your bubble plot, your bar chart, your line chart, whatever you want to do in Excel. You can also change which labels you in, are going to include by using that if statement. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to use value from labels option in Excel, and I hope you'll be able to use it in your own work.